Now, the United States uh, recently voted against a resolution to ban the death penalty for being gay. You have heard that correctly. The United States ban uh, voted against a resolution to ban the death penalty for gay people. Now, um, this is a United Nations resolution that banned the death penalty for homosexuality actually did pass. Uh, with 27 countries voting in favor of the measure. Now, the resolution was brought forward by the countries of Belgium, Benin, Costa Rica, France, Mexico, Moldova, Mongolia, and Switzerland. These are all countries who have apparently made global LGBT rights a priority. Well, good on Mongolia, man. I had no idea. Now, um, according to Renato Sabadini, director of the International Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Trans, and Intersex Association, he said, quote, this is a monumental moment where the international community has publicly highlighted that these horrific laws simply must end. Okay. Uh, now, he also says that it is unconscionable to think that there are hundreds of millions of people living in states where somebody may be executed simply because of whom they love. Now, again, thankfully, this passed. However, there were 13 countries who opposed the UN human rights measure, uh, one of them is the good old U.S. of A, the supposed leader of human rights in the world, but apparently not. We, of course, joined 12 other nations in thinking that these laws were apparently <laughs> incredibly okay. And uh, now these e uh, countries are Egypt, Bangladesh, Botswana, Burundi, China, Japan, Qatar, Ethiopia, India, Iraq, the United Arab Emirates, and our good old friend, Saudi Arabia. Apparently, we're in great company. I am a little surprised to see Japan there. Um, but again, when you look into Japan, they're actually a very culturally conservative country. Despite all the weird sex stuff coming out. But hey, look, I'm not judging on that. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm going to judge them on their vote, which was obviously wrong. Uh, but not on the sex stuff. Because that's always fun. Um, anyway. But look, other than Japan, I think a lot of these countries are very fundamentalist religious countries. Well, there's a lot of Muslim countries who apparently think it's super fine to kill gay people, and some even do, like Saudi Arabia, for example. I mean, they give people the death penalty for sodomy. That's horrible. Now, there are some defenders of the USA's vote in this saying, well, well yeah, but we still had the death penalty, and all we're doing is protecting our right to, for the government to kill people. It's a strange argument to make, but okay. Let me debunk that. Now, for one, the resolution doesn't call for an end to capital punishment altogether. However, it does ask member nations not to use it in what they call a discriminatory manner. That's including against minors and pregnant women or for blasphemy and consensual same-sex relations. Now, uh, something stood out there, the word discriminatory, right? Well, if we were to sign that, then we would be admitting that, oh, right, we do human rights abuses. Because guess what? We use the death penalty discriminatorily, okay? Uh, for example, we've put mentally ill African-Americans to death, knowing that they were mentally ill. Uh, and by mentally ill, I mean people who were very, very low IQs, who didn't necessarily know or grasp the, grasp the gravity of what they were actually doing. These people are literally mentally handicapped, that's different mentally ill by the way not the same thing as insanity so those are two different legal definitions insanity you actually cannot be put to death for pleading insanity which is strange um at least that's what i read somewhere uh now the thing is uh i don't believe in death penalty whatsoever so i don't care about the distinction okay that's why i didn't necessarily look it up but Look, if you do believe in the death penalty, well, would you be okay with executing somebody who's too mentally ill, who's not smart enough to realize what they're doing? I don't know. Um, I know that I would not uh, approve of that because, again, I'm against the death penalty in all cases. I don't believe you can find justice in killing someone. That's just, but that's me, right? But regardless, this vote wasn't even about that. It was about not killing people, gay people, for being gay. Now, I know we don't do that in America, and thank God we don't. But why are we not supporting this ban? Why did we vote against it? I mean, we don't do it. 
So we're not trying to protect ourselves here. Uh, so shouldn't we be leaders on this issue? Are we not supposed to be the leaders on human rights? And I say that right now, we have given up our moral authority. We no longer have that moral authority. We are no longer leaders in the world on pretty much anything, except if you're counting the military and supplying weapons to the world. We're definitely leaders on that, and we're definitely leaders on war, okay? But the thing is, is that, again, we've given up our moral authority, and frankly, I don't think we've had it for a very long time. I mean, just look at the way that our criminal justice system works against minorities. Oh, look at the way that we treat people who are in poverty, the, the, the way that we treat Native Americans, the way that we treat people who need health care, who can't afford it, right? Our treatment of refugees and immigrants, we do not have the moral high ground. And because of that, we decided that it would be great to join with Saudi Arabia in voicing our support as a nation for the wholesale slaughter in other countries of gay people, or at least saying, oh, we're not going to get involved. America, what the fuck? We can do better. So let's do better. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.